I'm going to cover photosynthesis in this video. Photosynthesis is the process that plants use to make energy using the sun. It's a very complicated process and there's a lot of videos available out there, so I'm only going to cover the basics so that you as an arborist know why this process is so important to plant health and existence. So let's start with a leaf. We know the macro features of a leaf like the blade, the petiole, veins, but what is it that actually makes up a leaf? If you take a microscope and you zoom way in, you'll find plant cells. These are the fundamental building blocks of a plant. All living things are made of cells and plant cells have certain unique features. Let's take a look at this diagram of a basic plant cell. Plant cells can vary depending on their function, but you have individual structures inside the cell called organelles. This organelle in the center here is called a vacuole. It holds water, which help, helps to keep plants hydrated, and it contains dissolved minerals, which can help act like an antifreeze in cold weather. The organelle that we're going to focus on is the chloroplast. Um, they're usually depicted as these green ovals. So the chloroplast is what holds the chlorophyll molecule. Chlorophyll is a green pigment and its main function is to absorb light. The reason why it looks green to us is actually because it absorbs every wavelength of visible light except green. So the green light is reflected into our eyes and that's what we see. There's two other groups of supplemental pigments. Um, the first is called carotenoids and these look orange because they reflect, they absorb everything but orange light. Carotenoids help with absorbing light for photosynthesis and you can remember the name because the start of it looks like carrot which is which are orange. The other group of pigments are the anthocyanins which look reddish purple and their function is more to absorb kind of like loose energy anything that might be damaging to the plant. On to the actual process of photosynthesis. It starts in the chloroplast when light energy hits a chlorophyll molecule and triggers the reaction. This is often represented with the formula CO2, which is carbon dioxide, plus H2O, which is water, plus light, yields oxygen, and photosynthate. Photosynthate is simply another term for the carbohydrates or the sugars that are produced during photosynthesis and used in other processes like respiration. Photosynthesis largely happens in leaves, which have an abundance of pigments, but it can also happen in green stems or under the bark of thin barked trees like birches. Since photosynthesis produces sugars or photosynthates, the leaves or the stems where photosynthesis occurs is called the source. From there, the photosynthate is moved to different parts of the plant where it's needed, and these are called the sinks. Examples of sinks are roots, trunks, flowers, and even small leaves that haven't fully unfurled yet. At the sinks, the opposite reaction occurs, which is called respiration, and you can visualize it by reversing the formula. You take the photosynthate or the sugars. In the presence of oxygen, it's broken down into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So looking at this formula gives you an idea of what plants actually need in terms of their physiology. If you have sugar and you're trying to create energy from it, you need oxygen. And so if you think of roots growing underneath the ground um, in compacted soils or over irrigated soils, those soils typically don't have enough oxygen for the tree to thrive. If you understand this process, you'll, you'll understand why they suffer as a result. This is the, one of the fundamental processes of a plant's existence. Photosynthesis is a really great process because 
plants can simply make their own energy, but there are also some costs associated with it, like whenever a plant tries to bring in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, they automatically lose water. But there are strategies to avoid those losses that I'll be covering in the next video about photosynthesis.